Hey lovelies, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Yasmin. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. So for today's video, I have another Ulta haul for you guys. You guys seem to really love the last one, so I went ahead and got some more stuff, and I spent so much money. Um, before my coupons, it was about $300, so I did have some gift cards and some coupons and stuff, but it was gonna be $300 worth of makeup products and my bank account was very sad about it but I'm super excited to show you guys this haul um if you are new hi again my name is Yasmin don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new I do do a lot of hauls uh, makeup videos vlogs here and there so if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as well just so I know to keep doing hauls for you guys um since I know you guys like the last one that's why I did it again so if you guys want me to keep going let me know by hitting the um the like button but anyways um we've got a lot of stuff to go through so let's just go ahead and get started this is literally a long receipt and it's a lot of stuff so let me go ahead and get started I'm just gonna go and pull things out of that of the bag one at a time but anyways let's go ahead and start with the most boring thing so it's just some cotton pads I love using cotton pads to remove my eye makeup um, and I also use it for my toner I was thinking about adding my toner with my hands instead because I've seen a lot of people use toner with their hands so I might start doing that but I did need to pick up some cotton pads anyway I also got my favorite style and pair of lashes. I got the three pack in the Eilor Luxe Silk Lashes. It's in the Mar Mar Marquise, Marquise, I don't really remember. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I can't find this style in Target anymore in my Target where I usually get this style and I can't find it. So I decided to get myself um, the three pair of these because I love these. These are the perfect lashes for any look, like for a wing liner, an all makeup look. I wear them to work with a big bold um, like eyeshadow look I wear them with everything and they're just so so good they're long lasting really lightweight I don't feel them they have the invisible lash band which I freaking love so definitely pick up some of these if you guys are into some lashes but I'm glad I got these I did end up picking up a couple of things from Morphe um, so the first thing I got I guess they came out with a new sponge so it's the Morphe microfiber beauty sponge it's just a nude little sponge that looks like this and I've tried their red sponge and it wasn't my favorite to be honest so, ooh, I decided to get one of these. So it kind of reminds me of like the um, the Juno & Co sponge, the feel of it. But this is the shape of it. I really like the shape of it. It has like the round bottom, but it has like two flats, if you guys can see that, and like this little edge right here. Perfect for that inner corner blending. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so weirdly shaped, but I freaking love it. And it's so velvety and so soft. It's like, it, it does feel like that Juno & Co sponge, just a little softer in my opinion. But I can't wait to use this. I've been really into buying some more sponges. You guys already know I love makeup sponges for my makeup application. But I can't wait to try this one. Another thing from Morphe, um, they did come out with like a skincare collection. They had like a cleanser, moisturizer, all kinds of stuff. But I only picked up two things. Um, so I picked up the Lippy Lullaby Lip Mask. It looks like this. Um, my lips have been very dry and I just feel like chapsticks aren't even doing it for me. I have to sneeze. <laughs> my allergies have been going crazy it's so super windy here so when it's super windy it gets very dry I mean, it's already dry but it's more dry now and it's just it's like all up in my nose but anyways so I got this little lip mask it looks like this little tube here isn't it so cute a little tube it's just um it's pretty much just a little hydrating lip mask um it's to wear it during the evening like at night time so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna add this to my skincare routine and see if that helps my lips because my lips have been very dry and I just need some else you know what I mean I feel like lip scrubs aren't gonna do it either so I just need something to pump them up and get them really nice and moisturized so definitely gonna try this out and then the other thing I got um, I actually didn't know that this is a face mist I thought it was going to be a um, <laughs> a setting spray so I ended up getting this thinking it was gonna be a setting spray but it's actually not it's it's a three-in-one face mist it's called little pick-me-up and it's from their Morphe 2 um, skincare line as well this one I really wanted to get it and I really thought it was gonna be a um, setting spray but it's actually not and it actually has um, orange flower water cucumber and aloe vera when I saw that I had cucumber water and aloe vera that's why I picked it up because I thought oh my gosh that's gonna add a lot of hydration into my into my makeup but it's not but it's just a face mist um, I'm still gonna try to use it anyways so it does have some great hydrating um, ingredients in here which I love it does have glycerin and hyaluronic acid which is great for the hydration which I'm going to love and of course that cucumber and the aloe is gonna help um, it also has niacinamide to help to calm my skin and the redness so I'm really excited about this product hopefully it works so I'm definitely gonna add this to my skin skincare routine as well let me know if you guys have tried anything from the morphe 2 skincare line there was also like a cleanser and a moisturizer I was gonna pay with the moisturizer but I got something else instead so just let me know what you guys think if you guys have tried them before I got other like skincare stuff so I'm just gonna go move on with the rest of the skincare stuff so I did pick up a new moisturizer because I'm running low of my truly one and I didn't want to pick up the truly one because I feel like I want to keep trying out different um, moisturizers and different skincare products so I did pick up the CeraVe ultra light moisturizing lotion with 
sunscreen. This is for normal or dry skin. My skin goes back and forth. It's very combo. Like one day it's dry, one day it's a little more oily, and then one day it's just very super dry, so I don't even know. But I got this one. Um, it does have SPF 30, which I want to try products with more SPF in it. Like today I have my, um, I mixed my Wet n Wild and Elf um, that has SPF in it, like foundation. And I also have a sunscreen like, um, primer underneath as well. Cause I want to be more into, you know, protecting my skin from the sun. So that's why I got this just to try it out. Um, hopefully it works under makeup, but I'm running out of other, um, moisturizer. So I was just like, I might as well pick this up and CeraVe, you guys already know is my bitch. Like I love CeraVe products are my favorite. So let me know if you guys have given this a try and see if it works because I need me some sunscreen and I need to be moisturized. I think this is new, but I picked up the eye makeup remover lotion from Neutrogena. You guys already know I love their um, their eye makeup remover, the ones that come in the bottle, the liquid one. So I really like that one. This is the lotion one, um, and I'm running out. So I was just like, I might as well pick something up. And I saw this, and I'm like, I feel like I haven't seen this before. So I decided to get this. Um, it's essentially supposed to do the same thing. So it's remove your makeup, waterproof mascara, all the liquid, all of the eye glue, everything it's supposed to come off. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works, but I haven't used a, like a lotion in so long. I remember when I was younger, I used to take my makeup off with lotion. Let me know if you guys used to do that too. Like I never used to use like makeup wipes or anything like that. I literally just use lotion to wipe off my makeup, which is so weird. But I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, oh, I feel like that I would have been tugging my makeup a lot back then. But definitely got this to try out and I'm so excited. Another skincare product, actually, it's also from Truly. I love the Truly a makeup line, a skincare line. If you guys have seen that in, in um, Ulta, I love a lot of their stuff. Beautiful packaging. Um, not too pricey, but not too expensive. Like, not too inexpensive, if that makes sense. Like, it's not like $50, $60, but some of the stuff isn't like $10, $12 either. It's like a little more than that. So I did pick up their Purple Rain Glow Serum Facial Booster. So it looks like this. So it's pretty much a facial serum, and I wanted it because it had retinol in it, and I really need something for anti-aging, but it also has glycolic acid. It's an antioxidant boost. And what I love about Truly is they also have, like, vegan and cruelty-free products. It sounds like a freaking ad, I swear, but I'm not being paid to do this. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so that's what it has under. It's, oh, I love this stuff. So pretty much it's just after cleansing and toning, I'm going to apply two to three drops on a dry face. Okay. Oh, it's harsh and harsh chemical free. I love that. I don't like when things have really harsh chemical hem, chemicals in it, which is why I love this brand as well. It's very gentle on the skin with the ingredients that they choose. And again, vegan cruelty free. A lot of their stuff is fragrance free too. They have a lot of CBD stuff. They have like body serums, body butters, um, CBD infused um, like body scrubs and things like that. So definitely try out their products. I just grab something from their line every single time I go. Like last time it was the moisturizer. I got the glass skin one. That one is beautiful. And I tried their serum and I'm so excited to try this. I mean, it's purple and it's pretty heavy. I think it's gonna last me a long time. So I'll definitely let you guys know how this works. Now on to some makeup. Um, I ended up grabbing a couple of primers, which I didn't even notice, but I got the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. So I've seen blur sticks going around in the makeup world where you just kind of like put it into your face and it's supposed to fill in your pores. So I really need that, um, especially because I, my, I feel like my pores have been a little bigger and like my fine lines have been a little bit more out there than before now that I'm aging a little bit. I'm going to be 26 this year, so it's definitely time for me to focus on um, skincare stuff or how to hide my lines. I don't know how this is going to work. It does have silica in here, but I don't know. It doesn't have dimethicone in here, which I believe dimethicone is actually the good ingredient to help with fine lines and wrinkles, like to blur the skin. So it doesn't have that in here, which is kind of annoying. But I'm going to open it anyway just to see what it looks like. So it just looks like a big old deodorant stick. It doesn't smell like anything, but it's just like a little stick like this. So I'm just going to wipe it on my face, on my hand here. It feels really nice on the skin. You can't really see it, but it definitely a little bit blurry if you guys can see. I don't think you guys can see, but it blurred it a little bit. Like a blurring and smoothing type of thing. I'm going to like this. I'll let you guys know. It is huge, so it should last me a long time. So I'll let you all know how this works. I think I'm going to try this on my Sunday makeup on IG, but... Super excited about it. I did go over to the LA Girl Essence um, little sections because we don't have a lot of LA Girl or Essence around here. So I ended up grabbing a couple things. This is just totally random. It's just a little sharpener because I can't find my lip pencil sharpener. I bought, I think, three of them and I can never find them. Like, I don't know where they are in my makeup room. So I just end up buying more because I can't find them. So I definitely need that to sharpen some um, lip pencils. Um, from Essence, I also got their hydrating foundation. This is has um, um, hyaluron and aloe vera, and it's supposed to be like a 24-hour lasting 
um, foundation. I hope I got the right color because I couldn't really see the color in the store. Um, but it does have, um, but it's supposed to be like a nice lightweight natural like foundation. Kind of similar to the Wet n Wild one because it has the hyaluronic acid in it. But it just comes a little packaging like this. Let's see if I can like open it and see if the color is fine. But it was literally like seven bucks. So I was just like, I might as well just try it. That looks like it's going to be my shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see? Very pretty color. Ooh, and some of the um, blur stick is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, what? That's going to be a really pretty combo. Wow. I like it. It's really smooth feeling. So I can't wait to try this out. I've never tried a foundation from Essence, so I'm super excited about it. Because I love Essence products. I think they're very underrated, so... Definitely gonna keep trying this out. And then something random I got from LA Girl. It's just their pro sponge. It's just a little pink sponge like this, and it comes with a little stand. I don't really use the stands, so I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. But I do want to try the sponges again. I love sponges, and I don't think I've traveled from LA Girl, so excited about this one. And it's bright pink. Like, how cute is this? I did get some makeup tools ish. So I ended up getting this little putty primer applicator from e.l.f. I'm not gonna use it for that specifically. I kind of wanted it to use it to blend like my cream contour and my cream blushes and stuff. Cause the brush is small and I feel like it's compact enough for me to do that. Um, it does have a little spoon in case you guys are interested in the putty primers. I don't like the putty primers, so that's why I didn't get it for that. But it does come with like this little like little scooper thing and then it has this little um, little small buffer. I thought it'll be nice to like blend out the contour or blend out like the blush. Super cute. So I'm definitely going to try it out for that. And then I ended up getting two brushes from Morphe as well. I wanted uh, two more little brushes for like more, um, I've really been into doing eyeliner and graphic looking liners and stuff like that and doing d different things with liner and eyeshadow and stuff. So I definitely wanted to get different ones. So I got this little brush. This is the M213. Let me open it up so you guys can see it. See how it's like kind of, it's really small, but I feel like it's like, it's like a small flat brush. It'll definitely help with some detail work. And I also ended up getting this one. This is the M165. They were out of a lot of stuff, by the way. So I tried to scavenge what I could, especially in the Morphe section. But anyways, this is what this brush looks like. I think it's like a slanted little angled brush. I'm going to love this one for like eyeliner. Like today, I used um, eyeshadow as li eyeliner. So I was able to use that for that today. It's all eyeshadow. It's not even, it's like eyeshadow with like a brush like this. Love it. I find that the easiest way to do a, a wing liner <laughs> so I definitely want to get a brush for that or if I want to do some more detail work in, into the crease or something like that that's why I wanted to get this one and another primer that I bought I actually bought the Milani no pore zone is what it looks like I do have the um brightening one from Milani one of one of their new ones so I wanted to buy the no pore one because again I'm trying to find things to cover my pores cover my lines things like that so I wanted to get this one this is supposed to have a lightweight silky texture it's a matte finish and it's enhanced with lily and bamboo extracts oh I'm super excited oh my gosh thank god dimethicone is the first ingredient in here so that's definitely going to help fill in my fine lines and wrinkles so I feel like if I use this and this in conjunction I think that'll be perfect to fill in all the lines like I'm super excited to use these both but thank goodness that this has that because I need that to cover the fine lines if it usually doesn't have that methicone it usually is not going to help me blur or anything like that like I've been getting some lines here um my eyes have been creasing my smile lines because I do a lot of facial expressions when I'm talking so definitely excited about this one I'm happy it has that ingredient because without it I feel like I'd be like what's the point you know I've been on a hunt for a new powder because I've been using my CoverGirl one and I really like it, but I just feel like I want something else. So I decided to purchase the Morphe uh, Translucent Bacon Set Powder. I wanted to get their new foundation, but they didn't have my shade. They were out of a lot of it. And I also want to try the new L'Oreal powders, but it has been overly hyped on TikTok. So everybody's bought it. Like everybody has that powder except me. <laughs> so I've literally been trying to find that powder everywhere. Anyways, um, I just got this powder. It's just a regular um, translucent powder. It's supposed to bake and set makeup for a shine-free finish. It's oil absorbing, selfie approved. Well, that's good. I take a lot of them. But this is pretty much what the powder looks like. Just a basic compact. And it has the little, I don't want to open it yet. But this is what it looks like. Hopefully the powder is finally milled enough for me to use it because I don't like when the powder is too thick, you know? And we're down to the last couple of things already. Like, I can't believe all of this crap was $300. Like was almost $300, but it's fine. I'm happy. <laughs> so I ended up picking up another Epic Wear liner. You guys already know I have every freaking color of this liner. I have the black one, the red one, the yellow, the purple, the blue. I have every color and I freaking love this liner. It's my favorite liquid liner 
ever, especially for colored liner. Like I, if you guys ever see me with like a graphic liner, it's always that liner. So I ended up getting this one because I don't have this color. This is actually a gray toned color. It's uh, the color Stone Fox. And I'm like, this color wasn't here last time. It is a gray liner. Like, oh, I just need to try it really quickly and see ooh, what it looks like. Oh, look how, look at the color. I hope you guys can see it, but it's gray. I don't know if you guys can see, not black, gray. How badass, I love gray, like a nice gray liner or just do it for some detail work. Oh, I love these. These are really, really good, long lasting. I love these so much, like they will not budge. And also these can also be used on the body in case you wanna do some like body art or if you wanna do things on your neck or on your stomach or on your arm, wherever you wanna do it. This is used for your eyes and your body, which is amazing. And they come in a ton of colors, so definitely recommend. And the last things I got, I finally freaking found the um, NYX Shine Loud. Is it Shine or High Shine? Anyways, it's these things. It's those double-ended lipsticks. But I want to try these because I heard that the matte ones are like a color, like don't transfer, like they don't transfer at all. And like the gloss is like, okay. But like if the color doesn't transfer, that means the matte lipstick is like amazing. So if you guys don't know me, I'm a lipstick whore. I love lipsticks, especially colored lipstick. I love lipstick that is like blue, red, like bright pink. I love like black. Like I love bright li like colored lipstick. So I got these three, as you can tell, they're very colored lipsticks. So I got a bright cobalt blue, and then I got, it looks, it looks like it's a little bit more blue on the blue side, but I got a cobalt blue, um, I got a purple one, and I got this teal, like a deep teal looking color. Like I'm gonna swatch them, but these are so cute, and I hope they don't transfer on color. But anyways, um, if you guys haven't seen these, they were all over TikTok, and um, they've been sold out like almost everywhere. So I was able to get them at, at Ulta. They did have, they do have other colors like nudes and pinks and stuff, but, that doesn't attract me as much as colored lipsticks do. They're still kind of drying, but these are the colors. Like I don't have a, any of these colors in, in, in a liquid lipstick. And I love that. This is the blue, the purple, and then the teal color. Like how freaking beautiful are these? Like, oh, I can't wait to put these on my lips. Like, oh my gosh, I love colored lipsticks so much. I'm waiting for these to dry. Let's see if they actually dry. I'm probably gonna put the, um, put the gloss on top and see what it does, but it's supposed to be non, no transfer of color so i'm just gonna give it a minute and then we'll try it out okay i barely touched the lipstick and there's no color transfer i'm gonna touch the blue one it does have the gloss on top but look no transfer of color are you freaking kidding me okay there's a little bit of the purple one probably wasn't that dry yet a little bit of the green one okay so I probably didn't let these dry enough, but that blue one, not coming off. I'll let you guys know how they work, but I'm so excited. Look at those. Oh, I can't wait to put these on my lips. So that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Are there any products that catch your eye or any products you want me to try ASAP? Let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I always appreciate you guys watching my videos, especially all the way through the end. I really do appreciate it. And it means the whole world to me. Um, but anyways, um, I'll, I think that's everything for me. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.